Okay, we are going to be learning how to set up CocoaPods um, for uh, Xcode 7 and uh, newer. I think this would probably work on older versions of Xcode as well. Um, and get AF networking installed. Uh, an important thing to kind of keep in mind here is that currently AF networking is only available for Objective-C, so you'd have to use a, use a bridge file uh, to make this work with Swift. Um, so we'll take a look at that as well. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we have CocoaPods installed in our system. Uh, CocoaPods is a package management uh, tool uh, kind of geared for Xcode to allow us to have a bunch of third-party libraries inside of our Xcode projects and keep them up to date using the CocoaPods tool rather than constantly having to download a new library and copying it over and make, figuring out what you were going to screw up and that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a couple of these lines. Some of these things might already be installed on this machine. Um, so we're going to do a sudo gem install CocoaPods. And I'll go ahead and type in my password on this machine. Okay, and this is going to go ahead and get uh, CocoaPods installed. The sudo command allows us to do this uh, um, as a uh, administrator. Runs this program as an administrator. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to create an Xcode project that we want this to ultimately live in. So we're going to open up Xcode here. I'm going to create a new project. And let's make this a single view application. And let's call this AF Networking Pods. Make sure language is Swift. Doesn't matter what the device is for this one. Go ahead and hit next, and I'm going to throw this on the desktop for right now. Okay, so now this project lives out there, and I can actually go ahead and close this project for right now. All right, now what I'm going to do is we're going to move into that, uh, um, that project that's out on the desktop. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see, CD... AF, AF networking pods. Okay, so we'll move into that directory. So here's our AF networking pods directory. And you want to be sitting in the same directory as where your .xcode proj uh, lives. So my current directory right now is on my desktop inside the AF networking pods folder. From here, we're going to go ahead and set up a pod for this particular project. So I'll do pod setup. And this is going to go and do the magical stuff for this particular uh, um, Xcode project. All right, so it's doing its thing. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a pod file uh, in here. Um, so the instructions that the website gives us is to do something called touch pod file, which just creates a new file called pod file, and then they actually open it with uh, Xcode to edit it in there. We'll go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you can use your favorite uh, um, uh, text editor to do this. So we'll say touch uh, pod file, and then we'll go ahead and do an open dash A in Xcode that pod file. So this opens it up inside of Xcode, so we have a decent little editor to uh, to work with here. Okay, so a couple things we need to put in here is uh, I'm actually just going to copy these these lines here, and then we'll modify them a little bit since these are a little bit older instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to paste those couple lines in there. So this first line says uh, the source for the CocoaPod specification. And then our platform, right now it's iOS 7.0. You can change this to 8 or 9. I'll change it to 9 since we're targeting the newest release of this. But set this to whatever you want. I think 7 and newer is, is fine. Um, and then CocoaPods is going to be greater than uh, or equal to two, version 2.5 for AF networking. I'm not sure what the current version is, but this basically says give me whatever the newest version is, as long as it's greater than this one. Okay. 
Um, notice here in the instructions it says don't use text edit or something because that tries to put a .txt on the end of it. So I would typically do this in Unix using VI. I'll just show that to you real quick. So I'll just share, save that file and go back to the terminal. So I would have opened it up inside of pod file here and edited it here in VI. So use your favorite text editor as long as you're saving it uh, as just a file named pod file, not pod file, not txt or something like that. Okay, so now what this does is this sets up the dependencies for this particular project. All right, so um, uh, inside of our on the, this pod file. So anything we put inside that pod file, we're saying that our Xcode project relies on these guys being kept up to date at at least whatever level we put in there. So you can have multiple projects installed in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a pod install. And this is going to read from that pod file and bring all of those modules up to date. And download anything that's necessary. So notice it's installing AF networking. Okay, so it's uh, installed. Everything worked out just fine. All right, so now the one thing that you need to do now from this point forward is since we have uh, made a change, since we're using uh, Cocoa Pods to manage our project, we no longer open up a uh, the just the Xcode project. Notice we have a new thing in here called uh, XC Workspace. That's the guy we want to open. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say open that guy. And this is going to launch that guy inside of Xcode. And notice now that we have a project in here called Pods that has brought into it a bunch of stuff for working with Cocoa Pods. Inside of here, we have AF Networking, so it's installed that for us and all the stuff that goes with AF Networking, yada, yada, yada. All right, so as of right now, we have a working Xcode project that has access to AF Networking. Uh, now notice it's complaining about a couple of things in AF Networking about stuff being deprecated in iOS 9. So as AF Networking gets updated, this stuff will go away. Um, but punchline is, is right now we have a project that is capable of running AF Networking stuff. All right, so the last piece for us is if we want to go ahead and create a bridge file, um, to make your, so let's just go ahead and do a little example here. So I'm going to just do a quick search and we're going to do uh, AF networking bridging header. It should give us a quick little uh, tutorial for this. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create a brand new header file inside of our project. So we'll do that, uh, let's go back over here. We'll do this inside of our test guy here. So I'll right click, we'll say new file. We're gonna go ahead and create a header file. And uh, let's call this, usually it's called like bridge.h, something like that. Um, doesn't matter what you call it, we're just gonna set it correctly in a few minutes. All right, so this creates this guy, all right. Uh, then we need to go ahead and reference um, this, uh, this file inside of our build settings Objective-C bridging headers. So let's go to right here. Then we'll go to build settings for our target. And I'm going to just do a search here for Objective-C. Let's see. Oh, let me do a search for, it might be in the actual top level thing. Uh, let's just do bridging. Uh, Objective-C bridging header, so in our target. And we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to type in bridge.h in there. So I'm letting it know that we have a bridging header in there that allows us to incorporate Objective-C libraries into our Swift projects. Okay. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and at the top of that bridge, bridging file, we'll go ahead and import our AF networking dealio here.
So that should be in the right place. Oh, I think we need to do this. This guy needs to be up here at the top level. Now let's do a clean. And then we'll build it again real quick. Bridge.h. Did I not name it that? Bridge.h. Okay, well, let's try to delete this file here. Move that to the trash. I'm going to create the file again up top here. I think that's the problem. So we'll create a header file. It's going to be an iOS source. It doesn't necessarily matter. We'll hit next. We're going to call this guy bridge.h. And we're going to make this available to our target. All right, and then we'll go ahead and import our dealio there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we had to put it there at the top. So in any case, we need to make sure we put it as part of our project, but make sure it's available to our, our target right here. And now we have AF networking available to our uh, um, entire project. Now, if at any point in time we want to make sure our project has an updated version of AF networking, um, so maybe every single time you come back to your project, something like that, you want to go ahead and you want to open up your terminal, move into the right directory, uh, go ahead and check your pod file, make sure it's still up to date for all the things you want to keep track of. And then go ahead and do a pod install and this will bring everything up to date. Then you can reopen again the workspace file. So always make sure you open up this file, not the normal Xcode project file, and you'll be good to go. All right, well, thanks for listening.